niggas not gonna show you the down days. Niggas sleeping on couches and all that shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They only gonna show you the shine what you want them to see. So don't think, bro. Like it, it's it's a lot with this shit, but don't compare yourself to others, bro. It's not worth it, bro. Facts, bro, facts. Bro. Now, while we while we doing this, I wanna um can I can I play the song again? Because I had a bonehead move myself. Just now. Nah, <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> but you know what I'm about to say? What you about to say? I forgot to press the record button. So, oh, <laughs> wait. So none of this was recorded. It's recorded on the camera, but not on this. Oh, not all right, it's good. So we good. But I still want to play it because I, I want them to hear that song. Oh, they got it. And I'm sorry I fucked up, y'all. But I'm it's sorry. I'm sorry, Zelly. We're gonna play it again though. Let's get back in the vibe. I'm I'm sorry. Hear that motherfucker. Let's run it. They got me left on the top, motherfucker. Back again, Zelly Vivell. This ain't an intro, but another intro. But fuck it. Tsunami, you hear me? If you in love right now. If you know, like somebody, know. send a song to them, or if you next to that person, just sing to them. Look into her eyes and just tell them you love them. Facts. Yeah. Right. got it bumping. She call me Bobby, I call her mommy, well it's a nanny. I be drowning, fuck it, I love it, that's my shawty, put in the bubble. I'm in love with you, fuck it, I love it. Heaven for it, we don't worry about nothing, no. Cause I'm in love with you, I make me in love again. no, no. Day one can't be real soon, day one, then I fell in love too fast But fuck it, I love it, and miss it, the public is nothing to hide Shawty always on my side, that's my ride, oh And I'll die for you, love She call me Bobby, I call her mommy, well, that's tsunami I be drowning, fuck it, I love it, that's my shawty, put in the bubble I'm in love with you, fuck it, I love it Have it fun, we don't worry about nothing We don't have to worry, we don't have no worries Baby, you know my story, I have nothing to hide, oh I'm not that guy oh. that you used to know. I'm not that guy. Oh. I had to let him go. Fui lo, fui lo. Now I'm drowning in the studio. She call me Bobby, I call her mommy. Well, that's a nanny. I be drowning. Fuck it, I love it. That's my shawty. Put in the bubble. I'm in love again. Fuck it, I love it. Heaven for it. We don't worry about nothing. No. Cause I'm in love again, I make me in love again no, 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 no. Yeah, we in love again Facts, facts <laughs> Once again, man, that's Tsunami um, if y'all ain't, y'all just catching up, I fucked it up. I didn't press record on the podcast, y'all, but I had to play that again so y'all can hear the production, the sound, the vocals, the melodies, the harmonizing, and the creativity from this young man, Zelly Lavelle. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. For real, facts, for real. Facts, Now, shout, shout out KC. One of the top uh, engineers in the city is others. Shout out Cass. Uh, it's Buku Others. Y'all know who y'all are. If you great, shout out to y'all, bro. That's all. Facts, facts. Now, you always had a... Unique style. Mm-hmm. You have the mask on today. Mm-hmm. What has changed about your creativity in the um, past three years? What changed? I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie. It, it's a lot that changed, bro. Like my whole mindset on this shit had changed. Mm-hmm. Well, to begin with the creative part, bro, it's really like it's now or never with this shit. It's really to go harder with it in a in a different way. Like I don't know what I did back then. It was cool. You feel what I'm saying when I look back at it, mm-hmm. but like the shit I about to do now and I'm gonna show the world, bro. They're gonna love it. Like, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's kind of like facts that. now. You um, saw the podcast, hit me in the DM. You say you gotta talk your shit. Now, Ooh. what's something you wanna, a focal point you wanna hit on yourself? Cause it seemed like you had something on your mind. I do got some on my mind, bro. Uh-huh. Let me look into the camera and I see this. <laughs> look at your close up right here if let you me, can let see. Me, let me hold on, let me take the jacket off. <laughs> let me take the jacket off. Just for a second. Boom. All right, y'all. New Orleans, <laughs> I love y'all, bro. Uh-huh. We can do better. You feel what I'm saying? As a whole. Facts. We don't have to be like Atlanta. Let's, mm-hmm. let's stop that shit. That's like, true. I want us to stop being labeled as crab, like the crabs in a bucket. Um, what it is? Crabs in a bucket? Yep, cab, crabs in a bucket, barrel, same thing. You feel what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm doing that, I'm going to be the leader and change that shit, bro, and just show y'all it don't hurt to support the next person. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Because we all trying to make it. Everybody broke. 
everybody trying to get a placement. I can't say everybody broke. You know what I'm saying? It's a different. <laughs> it's quality. It's, it's like it's right, in the middle, broke, shit. broke in the middle. Same you feel me saying? But no, at the end of the day, bro, we all trying to get the bag. You feel what I'm saying? We all trying to make it out the hood. You feel what I'm saying? Like shit could be better if we just come together, bro. Like let's work together. Let's get this money. Niggas don't gotta beef, bro. Niggas ever, ever you notice, bro? Everybody stay like twenty minutes, thirty minutes away, and niggas don't <laughs> fuck with each other. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like that's. Let's come together as a city, a whole, bro, and we can take over, bro. Like, y'all think what Atlanta doing is cool. Shout out to them. Shout out Thug and all them future and shit. I see what they doing, but we can do better, bro. Like, we we can do better. We got a lot of artists. I Shout out all y'all. I won't say no name because if I don't say something, you know, some people going to feel left out. But if you know who you are and you've been putting in that work, shout out to you and keep that shit going. You feel what I'm saying? Just connect with more people, bro, because the person next to you can, like, it's like this shit, like, um, damn, I hate when I do this. I be having bad memory. That's why I stopped fucking with the weed. <laughs> but it's like, bro, it's like, bro, you can help the next person. Like, don't, don't, don't stop somebody else, Sean, bro. You feel what I'm saying? It's enough light for everybody. Oh, another thing, bro. Let it off. Play your part. Like, everything is a team. You cannot do this shit by yourself, bro. If you think you, like, bro, that's some selfish ass shit to think you can do this shit by yourself, bro. Like, mm -hmm. and that's another reason that separate, I hate to do it, but that's another reason that separate me from thing. different artists, bro. It's like, I really do this shit because I'm, like, biggest in the world. And not only that, bro, that's just my little goal, but I really want to change the world, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But it got to start with the city first. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's why I just be wanting people to come together. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas, it's a lot of niggas who got beef behind closed doors over this music shit, bro. It's really deep. You feel what I'm saying? And I be hitting niggas up like, bro, squash that shit. Like, what's the fuck? Like, some of this shit, bro, it really don't be that serious. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's enough money for everybody. But get your team. Everybody must play the position. Let the artist be the artist. The photographer be the photographer. VR, VR. The manager, the manager. You feel what I'm saying? You don't have to, like, it's not always about you. It's not about you. It's about being a team. If you really want to be a leader, you got to lead the way. And yeah, that's that's all I want to say. Facts, man. Nigga, I um, got a close up. Nigga, making me want a close up. Shit. I, Shit. Get I'm you about to give me another um, camera and get another a close up. Shit. That was in the works anyway, but fuck. Man, facts. We need I, I won't. I won't flash out too. And flash let out. No flash shit, out. man. Fuck. Well, who gonna be doing that? <laughs> Niggas. Flash out. You want me more switch? I, I ain't gonna flash out the day, bro. I, I, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let you do that. But saying that. You said you were here to change that. Be the leader to start it. How? How, how do you get it off the ground? Like you said, you kind of take people, tell them squash that shit. How do you get that going? The ball roll? Uh, squash and shit. It's like a phone call, bro. A mm -hmm. simple conversation can change a lot of things, bro. Facts. I understand it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to go. Niggas be going to the internet and shit. Be it's like, keep that shit off the net, bro. Call a nigga. Text a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Just if it's a problem with somebody, it's easy to be talked out. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. It's just like, I'm a team person, bro. Like, I just right. want people to work together. Like, because if you look at Kobe, rest in peace to my guy, you know what I'm saying? If you look at Kobe, Bean. Kobe didn't do that shit by himself, bro. He won the championships. He had Shaq. He had Omar. He had, wait, I said yeah. Gasol. Gasol, shout out him. Derek Fisher. Robert keep, Ory. Keep it going. Straight up. You feel what I'm saying? Tom, Phil Jackson. Don't forget the coach. <laughs> Thank you. You feel what I'm saying? It's like Tom Brady. He's not doing that shit by himself, bro. Rob receivers. <laughs> You feel me? I hate to say that. My fault. My oh, fault. Oh, yeah. I got to let you know. Oh. You is a Brady friend. Well, I'm going to get to you later. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but, but keep it going. Keep but it's going. like, bro, <laughs> it's a team, bro. Like, niggas cannot win by themselves. You feel what I'm saying? And look, let me say this. Shout out Durant. When Durant left the Thunders, what happened? He went to a team, right? When yep. everybody can play. And what yep. happened? He won the ring, right? Chemistry, baby. Pay attention, bro. It's a team thing. If we work together as a team, anything is possible, bro. Like, I won't see everybody win, bro. It's is is you know what I'm saying? I want to see everybody win, bro. I, I support everybody. Feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I now, love it, bro. Now, with supporting everybody and in this music game, do you think since I guess up and coming artists see the bigger artists doing the same shit, like hopping on the internet when it's problems or beefs, mm -hmm. so they be like, "Fuck, that's how I can get famous. Just hop on and beef with somebody and shit like that." I mean, but. Niggas can do that, but at the end of the day, bro, sometimes that shit not cool. Like, that's bad for business. If I see you work, like, you fussing with other niggas, like, uh, you, like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't really be into all that. Like, when mm -hmm. that negative shit, bro, I really just, I don't tune into it too much. But when it do, it's like, that shit cheese, bro. Like, it be, bro, everybody grown, bro. Like, y'all, let's cut that shit out, bro. No famous niggas be doing that beef shit. It's corny. Um, all that. I don't know, bro. Facts and, um, even though them niggas be doing that. 
That shit corny. They got their money already. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so fuck. And, and, and we ain't got the bag yet, but we trying to get that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Make it last a lifetime. So. Facts, facts. Now, nah. um, we got. We, I want to get on the music. We talked about the um creativity part of your um. I guess you creating your music. Your last, your last, I guess, project, mm-hmm. or song, or single, Tsunami, that was your last single, right? At least the one you pushing that the was, most? That's the one I'm pushing, and the reason why, bro, is because mm-hmm. niggas, I, I think somebody listen to that bit, like, bro, this bit, the one, like, this bit. Mm-hmm. And then my bro, I know, I put it on TikTok, mm-hmm. and my bro hit me up, he was like, bro, keep <laughs> posting, bro, <laughs> keep posting, you can have a TikTok thing, I hear it, I'm like, all right, bro, and then ever since, like, I think like November, mm-hmm. yeah, I just been pushing that bitch every day, bro. Like, just, I don't know. I got to get that bit out there. Because, like, that's another thing I failed that, you feel what I'm saying? I didn't promote the song right. Yeah, because you put it out about a year ago, right? Right, yeah. 2020, actually. Well, 20, two years ago now. Yeah, thanks. And the crazy part is, but, ni- like, niggas tell me I make timeless music. And it I, is. Thank that's you. You feel is. what I'm saying? Like, that shit, you can play that shit any day. Like, right. that shit sound like it's fresh. Like, I just did it. Facts. And... That's all, bro. Like, if you feel like you got an old song out there, promote that motherfucker. Everybody didn't hear it, bro. And, like, right. now that I'm posting that bitch, bro, everybody's showing me love, and I love that. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's why I was like, I got to push this motherfucker out. You feel what I'm saying? So Facts. Because yeah. um, when you post it on the gram, I'm like, this song, this song, like, oh, I'm like, he, he still pushes it, but he, um, I guess, back at it with that motherfucker. He got a new spark with it. Facts. When, um, when, making, when you made that song, did you feel like it was the one back then? Yeah, like, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, like, when I wrote, like, that, that's that's 100% me, like, you feel what I'm saying? Everything I do is 100% me, but that motherfucker right there, it was just, it was put together nice. Mm-hmm. Again, shout out KC, you feel what I'm saying? For, Engineer. Yeah, sir, hooking me up with that, and, um, bro, like, when we did it, that shit was just, like, one take, and it was, and it was like, one take? Like, damn it, like, it was like, it didn't take, it didn't, bro, it didn't take me that long, bro. <laughs> Cause I write, I go over my stuff like constantly, constantly, facts, constantly. Facts. I'm at work, I'm, I'm going over, I'm going over. If I'm, I don't care where I'm at, I'm going over it. So when I get in the studio, I kind of do songs like, but like, you know, I had a problem with that shit. Well, the reason, oh, we gonna get to that on another part. Facts, facts. Now, last time we interviewed, Sunset was the song that um got you out of your seat, got you calling your mom at work and like, mama, yeah, this shit going up. You hear me? I remember you telling me this. So yeah, I got good memory. This shit bro, going up, Bob. Leaving this shit. I cried, bro. <laughs> you I cried. cried. That shit went viral, bro. Uh-huh. I was like, cause look, um, shout out T. This, this, bro. This simple shit, bro. This how easy she did it. Uh, I just told, her, I sent it. She a cool friend. I just sent it to her like, can you post and just be like this fire? You don't gotta even add my name or nothing. Mm-hmm. And she did it, bro. That bitch went up to like seven hundred retweets and like thousand something likes until her page got deleted so i was kind of hurt but <laughs> they were still coming to my page you know right. what i'm saying and it was showing love and i'm like bro that shit is it's the break i've been wrong yeah bro but i ain't gonna cap i learned something in that time bro um i got big headed you feel what i'm saying i got too comfortable mm-hmm. with this shit bro you gotta be consistent no matter who you are like bro you gotta be consistent because nigga don't give a fuck who you are it's a new artist every week yep it's somebody working harder than you you cannot let somebody outwork you bro you feel what i'm saying so mm-hmm. I, I got comfortable and big headed, and that's why I didn't take off the way I did. You feel what I'm saying? I was just like, "Fuck it, nigga, I'm about to blow up at this shit." You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm that nigga. I, I can't lie to you. And God humbled me for like two years, bro. That's why, like, I'm coming back now, like, Facts for my not. shit. Like, I'm not playing with these niggas, bro. Like, soon as I sign, bro, get the bag, bro, whatever. I know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going straight to the studio. We going after that. We gonna shoot videos. <laughs> after that, we going to do a photo shoot. After that, putting out the work. After that, we traveling the city to city. We going to do shows. Bro, I got this shit planned. Bro. All for the brand. Everything this, for the brand. Everything for the brand. You know what I'm saying? This shit, bro. It's bigger than rap, but yeah, bro. This shit crazy. Now, with that, you saying you got big headed. What are some ways that you got big headed? For you explain to some people, like, what the fuck he mean? Like, when big-headed. I say this, bro, don't, I ain't never switch up on none of my people or nothing like that. It was just that I just got comfortable to where I, was, I got to the point where I was just like, like, fuck it, I'm that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. I can't really explain it because I was just like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just thought that was it. Like, you like it's on. I'm I'm going another level. Fuck all that other I'm shit. I'm on another level. They know who I am now. This shit finna. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm like, labels about to call them. It's on now. I'm about to. Bro, I'm about to quit my job. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did, bro. I'm gonna be hurting, bro. I'm gonna be hurting, you hear me? But you know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason, and all that shit does. That shit just made me better as a person, as an artist, bro. Because I was just like, damn, bro. Like I really. 
like I was like, damn, I, I thought I had it. You feel what I'm saying? My moment. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate it, but it was back then. Mm -hmm. Like I'm over it now, but like this new shit, bro, I feel like the whole, that was the, like the city. But now I feel like the whole world finna tune into a nigga. Now God gonna show, like this another, this my second, this is gonna be my second test, bro. It's like if I really want this shit. So mm -hmm. that's why I try to stay off the gram and all that. You know, that likes and shit, it could go to your head, bro. Like, so I ain't gonna lie to you, but I, I was just about to say that. Since you got the city um, fame back then with the sunset, how'd you feel you would react to the whole world fame if you felt you got big headed when that happened? The, oh, li the local the love. I'm going to be real with you. The first day, I'm going to cry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cry because it's just amazing, bro. Like That's one of my goals. Like You feel what I'm saying? I don't want just be the biggest in the city, bro. I want to be the biggest in the nice. world. Like The one that never to do it. Like. I won't break records. I'm like, bro, be you bigger want all than the MJ. number ones. You want, yeah. <laughs> like, bro, I ain't gonna count. That's what you want to be in it for, though, right? The money, a lot of people in it for the money, but a lot of people be in, in it for, for the, the competitiveness, too. True. A lot of people in it for the money, bro, but that's the least of my words. The only thing I need the money for, bro, is to invest back into my production. You feel what I'm saying? So I can have better quality for my fans and whoever else. You feel what I'm saying? That fuck with me. That's what that's for. I ain't trying to flash out and shit, bro, because it's like, you can do that. You can be hot. And then disappear like sunset. I learned my lesson. You know what I'm saying? So I know, right. nigga, don't do that. Mm -hmm. nigga, go to work. <laughs> this is your second chance, nigga. Go Facts. to work. <laughs> like, and I thank God, bro. Like, so you feel what I'm saying? But when the when this shit take off in the world, bro, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cry. Mm -hmm. But after that, I'm going back to work. Like, I'm not gonna be on my I don't be on my phone that much. I do like if I do, I just post some shit and I go up, put my phone down. I'm gonna work out while I write a lot, bro. Like I got like two. I'm up to like. 2,347 right now. I just write, write to beats or some shit like that. 2,347 what? Like, songs like that I wrote. Like, like what? Yeah, bro. 2,340. This nigga, young thug, NBA, young boy, put Chief <laughs> Key put together. I hate that. All this day, all these damn songs. Oh, wait, I can go back to the thing. What the, what the number say? I might be off. 2,327. Yeah, you was... Oh, I was close. Yeah, you was close, but... I'm right, bro. When writing all them damn songs, how many done? Uh, bro, uh, shit, over a thousand. Over a thousand. Some of them, like, just hooks. Some of them, video treatments. Some of them, photo shoot ideas. Concepts, shit like Concepts that. and my plans, you feel what I'm saying? But, like, I got, like, a thousand of them, like, songs in that motherfucker. So, when I hop in the booth... You read it. Boy. <laughs> not, 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 say, not saying that with all them damn songs. When will the next drop be? When will the next drop Since be? Since you got all them songs, how did you choose now, look, from to make a project... Uh, what's gonna be the next single? This is another thing, bro. And y'all wonder why, like, you know what I'm saying? Why Zelly shit sound like this? Cause I be wanna work with the best of the best, bro. Like everybody, some niggas, I'm a singer, bro. Some niggas just put on auto tune and hit record. Like and that shit that. cheese. Like I, I wasted so much money doing that. You feel what I'm saying? Till I locked in with KC. That's my dog right there. He got a Grammy. He about to get a Grammy this year. And I'm gonna get you some more, nigga. I got you. Facts. But um, yeah, bro. Oh my fault. I was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> warning, <laughs> warning, told you. Hey, no, don't do that. I'm talking with my hands a lot. My fault, but where was I at? Oh, I don't, I don't waste so much money, bro, recording with niggas, bro. And it's just got like, that shit get frustrating because it's, it's my hard working money, bro. I was working like two jobs, bro. Like I was working at Kane's and Family Dollar to support my shit, but you know what I'm saying? To play for my studio time and videos and mm -hmm. photo shoots, like, you know what I'm saying? And other than that, but Damn, I forgot what I was about to say. But bro, <laughs> what, 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 what we was talking about again? You were talking about KC the Grammy, mm -hmm. and you were talking about I was saying, how do you choose from Ooh. all the songs and shit? How to? But what's oh, your wait, next single on. project? But it's like, bro, it's like you know, KC had his thing going on. Like he moving studios and he going out of town. So right, he worked. and he was the only one I work with because mm -hmm. I can't go with nobody else. Like everybody else don't know how to work with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I hate, but I kind of depended on him too much on that, and that was my fault because it was just like. It sounded like an excuse. Like, I could have really went to somebody else and just finessed right. that shit like I do now. But now I can feel like I can go to anybody and just and do it. But it's still not right sometimes. Bro. Like, I don't know. So I'm just very picky about what I work with. But as soon as me and Casey, uh, Kaz, uh, he, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure y'all heard of him. But once I was locking with another great engineer, bro, it's, like, it's up there, bro. I'm not stopping, bro. I'm not stopping. I don't got it. Facts. Huh? Nah. Oh God. Oh, you say oh God. <laughs> now, um, when choosing that, how, like you say, how difficult is it to find that person to work with? You like to get that? Of course, you ain't gonna never recreate the KC chemistry. Mm -hmm. But how is 
how could you find somebody to make it at least close for you can go to them when KC is out? Oh, I mean, bro, I, don't, I like I, I give everybody a chance, bro. Mm-hmm. Like when I listen to music, I give everybody a chance just as much as I want a chance. So when I go work with people, I give them a chance, bro. It's like if we can vibe and connect, then it's a go. If we can't, like you gotta niggas gotta be engaged when you're in the studio. I don't want no engineer that just hit the thing and go. Yeah, lad. You want somebody? Yeah, buddy. You gotta like tell me flip that, <laughs> reverse that. <right. the> <laughs> yeah, facts. And the thing with me and KC is he a, he a real nigga. He will tell me like, hold on, bro. Like he country. He like hold on, bro. Do that line back. And he'll be like, <laughs> sing like this over that. Cause when I first with KC, bro, I was just rapping. Uh-huh. Like, nah, sing that shit. And then I just started singing that shit. And that's how Sunset happened. So I really, you know, thanks to KC, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, I started singing like, cause I was scared to sing at first. Like and then once I learned, I just my voice. And then I. Learn how to finesse the auto tune, bro. Like I just put them two together. Bingo. Now, when working with an engineer, or working with anybody who you're trying to work with, mm-hmm. what are some red flags that you ain't coming back the next time? It could be a video man, a producer, a engineer, it's anything, the, a photo it, shoot, a podcast, bitch, <laughs> anything. Hope you come no, back to this back, one. Bro, though. <laughs> I'm coming back to this motherfucker when this shit blew. I'm coming back. Straight you know what I'm saying? And remember how I said I was gonna cut short of the check, bro? I'm gonna cut you a check, you get And we gonna invest in you. We bro. got a sponsor already, you dig? Facts. Bro, that's what I'm gonna do, bro. When I get the millions, I really don't care for money, bro. Like that Facts. shit comes and goes, it's gonna come back times ten. So it ain't nothing for if when I got the millions to here you go, bro. Invest in you, go get your you know what I'm saying, do vigorous shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? To a studio. But it's like, bro. I don't know. What was the question again? The red flags for oh, people you work with. If a with. nigga, if a nigga not engaged, bro, <laughs> a nigga in his phone, bro, niggas just doing too much. A lot of niggas don't be answering the phone for me sometimes, bro. Like, and uh-huh. I be trying to work. And it's just, I don't know, bro. Like, I be like, damn, like, you know, some people you they used to laugh at me back then, bro. Uh-huh. And I don't know if niggas, like, I need niggas to take me serious. Cause what I'm trying to do, bro, is is like I said, bro, I'm trying to take over the world, bro. Like, I don't want don't like, come on now. It's, and selfishness. I don't fuck with that shit. Like selfishness, you're not engaged, you're on your phone, and what else? Uh, niggas ain't answering the phone. Niggas ain't answering the phone. Straight, and stop being too comfortable with a nigga when you first meet him, bro. It's about work. You get comfortable later. Handle your business first, bro. Hey, <laughs> put that phone down. Oh, I finally hit the Facts, man. You good? Get passionate. <laughs> put the phone down, son. Do not have that motherfucker. I want him around you, bro. I really hate that. I feel like that's disrespectful. I'll be on my mama ass about that, bro. I'll be talking to her, and she. Fuck around and be on TikTok or what? I'm like, man, you don't put that. <laughs> like, man. nigga, say I need your undivided attention, huh? Thanks, thanks, man. Now like, with the music, how do you how do you expect? I mean, what do you expect from yourself when um in 2022 with this music? Since you say you was humble for two years, it's a new year. This top of January, so you got I got my confidence back. Thanks. So I'm finna take over this shit. Mm-hmm. It's no nigga. It's I don't want to say bitch. I don't, I, I like no woman. females. No woman, it's nobody who can take that away from me, bro. Like, this shit finna go to the next level. It's like, um, yeah, bro. I, that's all I can say. This this shit finna go to the next level. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come out with more music and be consistent as fuck with that. Like mm-hmm. I said, I apologize, y'all. I'm gonna have more videos, just more content, be more engaged, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna start doing more shows. Like, that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm gonna come uh, hard, bro. Are you, uh, manage or uh, anybody? Helping you with, or it's just you at the moment? Uh, that, that should be up and down, bro. Like, sometimes niggas be selling me dreams, bro. Like, and I, that's another thing I felt that, bro. Like, being naive? No, like, motherfuckers that say they're gonna do this and do that and don't. I believe in action. Mm-hmm. I can I can talk all this good shit, but in a few, you know, niggas gonna be looking like, what's that? Right, like, we're gonna see what the music at. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all, but it's like, I believe more in action. You feel what I'm saying? But I do have a partner right now. Uh, shout out Charles. Uh, you know who you are, bro. We uh we trying to get things started and he gonna help a nigga out. So I really appreciate that. That's love, bro. Mm-hmm. Right now, bro, I'm just really building the team back up. Like, like I said, it's a it's a team thing, bro. I can't do this shit by myself. Like, I don't don't be scared to ask for help, bro. Don't be scared Please, to don't. ask for help. Like that shit goes a long way, bro. You're gonna need help in this shit. Like you cannot do it by yourself, bro. Ask for help, bro. Yeah. Facts. Now, any Valentine's Day coming up. Mm-hmm. You you are you just said you said earlier in the interview you are an R and B uh-huh. singer. So anything planned for Valentine's Day, the the love month, February, we'll see. Um, I can't. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Cause look, yeah, I, I was. Cause look, I do this. New, you know how this is another thing. Don't 
Don't say nothing until it's complete. Like keep Stand it private until stamp. yeah. Don't want, keep I it private until it's done. But I will say this. Um I'm gonna drop uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop this little tape for the females. It's called Good Pussy Mix. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. so the crazy thing behind this, it's a CD that was in my mama car. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Good pussy mix. Wait, it was fine. Nah, it's uh it's just a uh, one of her old niggas just made that it's a <laughs> bunch of old songs, bro. I said, bro, the pussy gonna get dry listening to this shit. <laughs> Good bro, pussy like, mix. Man, <laughs> facts. But um I won't do that. And I've just been inspired to do that. And then after that, I'm going to lead it up to probably dropping singles. And then I won't do my tape. I really might just call that bitch an album, bro. It's called Now or Never. Mm-hmm. So that's really, I'm going to be dropping shit and building up to Now or Never. Because this shit got to happen now or never. Like, now or never. Uh-huh, I right. remember the votes. Now, I'm glad you said that. Tape, what is, for people who don't know, mm-hmm. it might be myself and I don't know. I might do know, but what is the difference between a mixtape and an album? Um, shit, nowadays it really ain't no difference because you can win a Grammy off a mixtape. Mm-hmm. Like, um, an album, bro, it's more thought into that motherfucker. Like, that bitch take time. That's a masterpiece. You can't rush that. Mm-hmm. A mixtape, I can just freestyle on that bitch and do whatever I want. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do that. If it's a mixtape, I treat everything like it's an album, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. When I do EP, look three, when I've been dropping these three pieces, um, oh, two for one special, and I did a, I did a three I did a three piece, just dropping three singles. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Um, damn, I really be forgetting, bro. That weed got me fucked up. I'm not high right the now. The album mixtape, right? The difference. Yeah, bro. But other than that, that's that's basically the difference, bro. Like that. But I treat everything like an album. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Nah, in a studio, you say you be forgetting with the weed. Does the weed affect your music? Or does it help you in the studio? Um, it really helps, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I get so creative. I've been that bitch singing. Nigga be like, oh, Lord, that nigga sound like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say who be like, yeah, they're like, God, <laughs> damn, this nigga really singing in that bitch. Like, and then I don't stop, bro. Like, that's the problem. Like, the beat can keep going. I'm gonna keep going after the beat. Like, I'll really be like, after I'm done recording one song, mm-hmm. I'll just keep rapping. I t- if, if it was possible, I'll tell you, man, just put up another beat and I'm gonna just catch that bitch and I'm gonna just keep going. You know what I'm saying? But, other than that, bro, in the studio, if the weed, you got in the studio, you got to have weed, water, candy. Um, I don't support this, but I used to take like a, a Adderall or whatever just weed, to keep water, me candy, up. Weed, water, candy, Adderall. Ooh, right. Motherfucker had me jumping out the wall in that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's that's another uh, a good helper. But other than that, yeah, bro. Now in 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 the playlist in the music, mm-hmm. who are some people you are listening to at the moment? People I'm listening to. Mm-hmm. Uh Zelly Lavelle, Zelly Lavelle, Zelly Lavelle. That's it? Hold on, one more person. Zelly Lavelle. All right. So just you. <laughs> I'm lying, bro. I listen to all genres. That's why my music is sound like I listen to like rap, country, pop, R and B, fucking disco. I go back. Um what what else they got? Uh fucking if I the when the not I almost said some racist shit, but like in Africa, uh, some drums or something. I listen to all that. <laughs> if it's good, bro, I don't give a fuck who it's from. I don't care if you black, white, gay, uh, uh, huh? Racist? Well, no, no, I ain't listen to no racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I said that's not a racist. He said no, no, no I'm just black, speaking. right? He talking about in generality. I'm just speaking in general, bro. Music is music, bro. If you make good music, I'm gonna listen to your <laughs> shit. Like I listen to the I even, yeah, I'm a real lad behind this man. I'm a real lad nigga. And I, I I even listen to bounce music sometimes, and that shit yeah. like it's our it's our culture. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm supporting that shit, bro. I don't I listen to everything. Bro. I ain't gonna cap. I don't want to say no names. I don't want to leave nobody out. But I listen to everything, bro. All yeah, right, bro. yeah. You don't want to leave nobody out. Mm-hmm. Can we at least get a top three artists from you right now in the in the um industry? All right. I'm a realist, so I'm going to be real as fuck. Top three, wait, top three in the industry or in the city? We're going to do both. So you say I'm going to do the city, city first. We're going to do city first. <laughs> that, That's not city. Shout, so. out, shout out young boy, but nah, this, we talking about this city. Yeah. Um, first, I'm going to see uh, Rifle 9. Rifle 9. Super bad. Super bad. Um, Killer. Hold on, it's, 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 it's one more. You said top three? Yep, one more. Uh, Zelle Lavelle. Zelle Lavelle, all right. Yeah. Zelle Lavelle is number three. That's now, I want to talk about the New Orleans getting some traction right now with the two artists you mentioned before. Mm-hmm. You mentioned Rifle 9 Shoot Bad. They have two killer songs. I don't want to just... I don't want to promote sing- that shit. I, no, I don't want to just single out those songs because they got way more songs, but I'm talking right, about right. the songs that's big, blowing up for them right now. What? 
Vulture Island at I think like three hundred thousand already. And You're super bad with the bedroom, her shit like at four hundred thousand. Thanks. Do you feel New Orleans is gaining traction? With Pete also reposting Rob and me putting some fire emojis hell, under there. Hell yeah, bro. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I love seeing people from the city win, bro. Like that shit just made me happy, bro, because it's just it's like, you know how some people look at it and they be like, they hating. Like, it's a lot of people who talk negative about them too. Mm-hmm. But, bro, I be inspired. Like, because they showing motherfuckers, bro, just do what you got to do. And you can, it's a lane. Like, it's nothing. It's a lane for everybody, bro. And I'm in my own lane and there's no traffic. That's why I'm about to surpass a lot of niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, for real, for real. And they stood in their lane and that's what they did. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't say I watch motherfuckers, but you just peep game and see how motherfuckers doing it, bro. And just... I like what they're doing. I ain't even gonna cap. I support it. What is so? What is so unique about short sound? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My fault. Rob, super bad, and Nino. All right. So you kick yourself out? Fuck no. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so <Zelle>. <laughs> I'm gonna do top four. Zelle, top four. <laughs> Zelle Lavelle, Rob for nine, super, and then Nino. They say you kick yourself out. Hey, no, bro. hell no. I ain't out of there. I'm in there. <laughs> All right, so. What makes you so? What ma- I want to talk about your sound. What makes your sound and your brand so unique? Since you say you're in your own lane, no traffic. What makes you so unique? I mean, bro, like I don't really talk about it that much. I use that people tell me, bro. But like when you hear it, bro, when you put that shit on, like you just be like, damn, this not no shit from niggas. Don't even think I'm from New Orleans, bro. Niggas think I'm from like California or, or some shit like that. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, it's just like the sound. Like I hear it, and other people. Hear yeah, bro, like, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, bro, is really, most of that shit is, like, it's my real life. None of this is made up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, in Sunset, traumatized by a drive-by, niggas dumping out a drop top, better watch out. They don't want to see you at the top. Bro, I remember, bro, i never forget that fucking, that's that sh- that fucking, it was a shooting where I used to stay at, bro, and that shit just changed me forever. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I used to, I used to be, like, a fucking, a La follower, bro. I used to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was a lot of, like, in New Orleans, bro, that's another thing. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing to show other kids, bro. You don't got to be a gangster, bro. That shit not the route for you, bro. Like, it's not the route for everybody. It wasn't the route for me. So I just really stuck with the music, and I just want to show other kids, bro. You don't got to be no gangster, bro, because niggas really out here dying behind that shit, and it's more life than that. Like, it's, 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 it's more life than that street shit, bro. So, like, when that shit happened, that shit, like, not trying. It, it really, like, scarred a nigga, but it's just like, yeah, fuck this shit, bro. I don't, it's not the lifestyle I'm about to do. I'm about to go live my life and follow my dreams. You know what I'm saying? So I just, once niggas switch locations and start hanging around the right people, bro, you know what I'm saying? I had to change my ways and just become me. Like, and now I'm like, I'm 100% me now, bro. Like, I think for myself, everything I do is like, I ain't following nobody. I don't look up to nobody. I don't look up to nobody no more. Like, that mm-hmm. shit. Like, I look up, if I look up to anybody, it's the God. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him uh, and myself in the mirror. But other than that, bro, like, there's other ways out here, y'all. You don't got to be. The gang bang route is, is that and, shit can play it off, bro. In the in this new g- generation, mm-hmm. is it hard to surround yourself with healthy people to be around, bro? Everybody's so toxic, bro. Like that's why a lot of times, bro, I really be by myself. Cause like if you're around, let's say we're around a group of people, right? Mm-hmm. A group of friends, and you tell them your ideas, you got motherfuckers in your ears telling you you can't do that. They putting their fears on you. Yep, motherfucker, just hold on. No, you can't do that shit, nigga. I can't. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And it's just like, you, like I said, you got to have that confidence, bro, because it's a lot of negative motherfuckers out here. And if you just keep listening to these motherfuckers, they'll fuck you. Like, they'll fuck you up, bro. Thanks. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You'll be, you'll be about to drop the hottest shit. You feel good about yourself. Nigga tell you a couple things. You'll be like, now that shit in your head. Like, damn, bro. So Fucking up your confidence and self-esteem. Surround yourself around supportive friends and not the negative ones, bro. If they negative to you right now, they not supporting your shit, cut them off. It's 2022. Because it's like, bro, on a real nigga note, when you get... The, it's like, if they support you right now, bro, when you get that bag, and niggas gonna try to come around you, but, hold well, no, on, another thing. When you at your best is when you love. At your lowest, you gonna see who really love you. Thanks. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, fuck that. Don't wait until I'm blowing up and I got 100,000 motherfuckers in my DMs talking about, you know, showing love, and I can't respond to you because I'm busy, and now I'm fake. You feel what I'm saying? So it's really like, I don't know. This is, I don't know. Do your thing. Do your thing, bro. Dennis, doctor. Lawyer, engineer. Yes. Another hold thing. Hold on, hold on. Engineer. Um, why be a rapper? Bro, out of all those things. I got the voice. Don't you hear it, bro? <laughs> like, bro, for real. Like, you hear it, bro. Uh-huh. Like, 
not even the voice, bro. It's just like you can look at my visuals. I I video I write my treatments and then I go to Ron C and we come together as a team, bro. And we, you know what I'm saying? We come up with the best of shit. Shout out to Ron, Ron C, C Private Billions. Filmmaker. Once you see this, um, nigga, call me because um, <laughs> we got some shit to talk about. Uh, it's time for me and you to get back into this shit, bro, and just take over 2022 if you're really serious about this shit, bro. Like, for real. Facts. Now, in discovering your sound, what age did you discover you wanted to be an artist? Uh, I've been writing since I was like, bro, so when we was in like third or fourth grade, you know, back then they used to be like, um, what's the hygiene class? Mm-hmm. And we had to write a rap. Bro, the first time like I wrote a rap and I performed in front of the club. Hygiene like, class? What school you went to? Uh, Averson. It was in the East. Oh, yeah, I know Everson. Yeah. I didn't play. We ain't had that shit. I'm jealous. <laughs> Boy, yeah. niggas used to be in school. Some of these niggas. Go to go to oh, all right, but. <laughs> I didn't play. All right, go ahead. Thanks. Niggas used to be in class. Must in the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna. I, hold on. We ain't talking back on the bottom. We're gonna, we gonna get off that sidetrack. Thanks. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I had. um, That's when I wrote my rap. And, then, and when I performed, you know, in front, of, in front of the kids, like, we was in like a small auditorium or whatever. And I just felt that love. Like, motherfuckers screaming, just clapping and I just felt that I'm like damn that shit felt good as fuck mm-hmm. so after that I just started you know trying to write growing up and then once I got to like 15 that's when I first started writing on paper I was like I'm gonna take this shit so I'm gonna start writing on paper and then probably about 2017 is when I first like got in a studio actually okay and then I was like all right that was a start and then over time bro like success won't happen over over it won't happen overnight but over time it will trust me bro and I'm a living proof I don't know, living proof. This shit will not happen overtime. I mean, it will not happen overnight, but overtime, bro, it will happen. So I just kept consistent with it, bro. Like, and then once the singing part, oh, I skipped something. We had, uh, how I got into singing, um, we had a choir director, and he was like, which one of the boys, like, it was a girl and a boy that needed to sing. They had a girl singing, and the, it was like, which one of the boys sing? You like the girl, huh? I want to sing with her. Hey, <laughs> ladies, behind this mask, I'm really like, um, Beautiful ass, handsome ass nigga. Like, I just want y'all to know that. I wear this for a different reason, but we gonna get to that. But, and you know, I just started singing and it's like, girls love that shit, bro. Like, and I love it. Singing feels so good. It's like, freedom, bro. Like, it's an expression. Like, every, when I'm cleaning or something, bro, and I'm, finna, I'm singing, bro. Like, every day. My Lanisha told me the other day, she's like, why are you always singing? I'm like, that shit, I just feel good, bro. <laughs> right. Like, and then I know I can sing. Knowing I can sing and motherfucker tell me that, it just boosts my confidence. But, oh, I don't go off other people because, like, you got to have confidence in yourself first before anybody else. Because, like, you could be the, you could be the, everybody could be telling you the hottest. Then when you're not, you know, you're going to really believe that shit. So, rest in peace, DMX. Like, that's some real true shit. Facts. Yeah. Now, I got some um, rapid um, fire questions. This is something new we um, asked on here. I, um, go with two things and you have to pick one. You can explain why you pick one or the other if it's interesting for you. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna um, throw you um, throw you out and you give me some answers. Bet. Drink or weed? Weed. Money or love? Love. Money. Money can ruin things, but then again, love is kind of like dangerous. If you really like, if you love too hard, it can be dangerous. But at the end of the day, I'd rather the love over the money, mm-hmm. like any day. All right. Respect or fear? Respect. Why? Like, bro, that's a big thing, bro. Like, I show everybody respect, so. Just respect me. Like, that's, 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 I'm big on respect, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, okay, okay. We're gonna go with um, low key or like the crowd? Say it again. Low key or like being out? Um, I'm a low key nigga, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I don't, that's why I, I, bro, I wear this for, I don't really care for like, I don't be in the cameras and all that shit all the mm-hmm. time, bro. Like, I wanna be like, Low key, like so. The reason behind the mask, I can, just, I, I can get to that. Go ahead, let it go. The reason behind the mask, bro, because I know once like niggas become famous and shit, bro, you can't live a regular lifestyle. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? But once shit blow up for me, you feel what I'm saying? I can take this motherfucker off and just walk around regular. <laughs> like motherfuckers not gonna know who I am, and I kind of love that. Like right. I don't wanna be bothered all of, like. Just saying, like when I'm on tour, bro, and let's see, I wanna just go shot. Like I wanna explore the world so bad, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like that's why I wanna do so bad. Like. I'm going to be going around, going into stores, meeting new people. So I won't be a regular person. Like, I could just enjoy my time Yo, of, like. Be bombarded and, by a bunch of fans. You feel what I'm saying? And just, like, just be in a moment, bro, like, and, and enjoying this shit. So I can just be me. But other than that, bro, I'm a low-key nigga, bro. I don't really like to be on the scene. I don't, 
I'm not I'm not flashy. I don't like the flex. I don't even like that attention sometimes. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, niggas envy that shit. Like, niggas don't even like to see niggas happy. And that's weird. Like That's like, normal. Yeah, <laughs> weird, and, weird but a normal behavior in today's climate. Right. Um, relationship or single? Woo! What you prefer? <laughs> what you prefer? Not what you in right now. What you prefer? Oh, I'm, I'm, man, fuck, I'm single, but I prefer single, bro. Like, if you young right now, no, I can't say that, bro. Because everybody not, everybody not the same, but uh-huh. as for me, bro, I, I say be single, bro. Because it's like at the end of the day, you can be with somebody for however long, bro. But if that person just get up and just say, fuck you, they going to get up and leave. You feel what I'm saying? And you're going to be butt hurt like, about that shit. And I ain't going to cap. I'm a real nigga. It's a couple girls that have hurt me. That's why I be rapping about them now. Or uh, singing about them. You feel what I'm saying? So that love shit, bro, it's just, it's, it's not it right now. Like, my dreams come first. Like, so I'm going to just, I'm going to say single. Facts. Now, re- is rejection a it just defense? Act- is, a def- is rejection a defense mechanism for not being in a relationship with some young men? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm scared to be hurt, or I'm scared she's going to say no mm-hmm. if I try to holler at her. Is that a defense mechanism? If you read this right psych now, yourself out. I mean, if you're watching this right now, bro, and there's a girl out there that you like, bro, all you got to do, just hit her up, bro. The worst <laughs> thing she can say is no. Nope. Keep it pushing, bro. It's a million other motherfuckers out here. It's somebody for everybody, bro. Like, and don't settle for nothing, bro. If a motherfucker not treating you right, treating you the way you want to be treated with respect, loyalty, love, like, to the highest standard, I don't give a fuck who you are, bro. If you broke, bitch, whatever. But if you can't, if the motherfucker is not loving you to the point where you love, you're going to regret that. Shit. Like, I I, I don't get too deep. But, bro, it's like, go for the person. Like, go for what you want. Don't settle for what you can have. Go for what you want. Okay. Yeah. Now, BBL or natural? <laughs> Boy, I'm about to run out the mic. Hey, bro, I hate to sound like this, bro. Even my mom, my mom could have answered that question, bro. Like, I'm a hold on. I hate this. I'm like, bro, I love a girl with a nice ass. Oh my god, like, don't matter if it's BBL or not. BB, I don't know. I ain't never fuck with a girl with a BBL ass before. I ain't get, I ain't know on that level yet. That's that rich nigga level. But I'm about to get there. I'm finna get there. And I'm gonna let you know. You feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, but if I had to pick, bro. I'm a natural, like, baby, you don't got to wear that makeup around me. Like, that's another thing. Like, Sound like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. I like that natural look because I, I need to see how you look, like, on your good days and your bad days. You feel what I'm saying? And I just, I don't know. When you natural, it's like, you don't need that shit. Like, you're, you're natural. You're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. Like, right. own that shit. Nah. So you chose natural. No, no BBL. <laughs> shit, boy. I ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking both. <laughs> Put that ass on me. <laughs> Put that ass on me. I don't care. That be real a fig, baby. I'm a feel. I ain't judging nothing, baby. Ooh, man, she got the. If she got these done too, let me feel. Let me see what they. Ah, uh, they hard. Is are they soft? I, I don't. It don't matter to me, bro. Okay. Uh, I ain't picky. Oh, I lie. I am picky. I lie. So, yeah. all right, we gonna uh, go some more um, to try to see how picky are you. We are gonna go with light skin or dark skin. Oh. A light skin girl look like Michael Jackson. Bro, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I'm really finna start dating outside my race. Cause it's like, I've been dating black girls all my life. Uh, light skin and dark skin. I love them all. Like, I don't, I don't, when it come to them, I don't Which pick. one? Which one? I can't pick. Both. <laughs> hey, cause I, hey, cause look, I really want two girlfriends. I'm not gonna lie. All right. We go, oh, that's good. We get into that. Yeah. So, you're not picking and you say you're gonna start dating out of your race. Why? The, the women want to know. This is not something I want to know. I want to know as well. I mean, bro, you know, I'm, gonna know. I'm 24, and honestly, I just want to try something new. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never... And I ain't talking about no white girl. No, no disrespect to white I mean, women. That's outside your race, so you talk about... I'm talking about Latina, Asian... <laughs> uh, mother You're talking about the other minorities. Yeah, I'm talking about all of them. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But other than that, nah. And then, oh, I ain't got no kids yet, but my first kid got to be with a, a black woman. Like, it got to be. It's okay. just That's just only right. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to date outside my race while I'm young. You want two wives or just two women? I just want two girlfriends. Two girlfriends. Yeah. So you want a Lou Williams? Why do you want two girlfriends, and do you feel that will work? Uh, I feel like, bro, that's the lifestyle, bro. But look at me. If if she mad at me, I can go with her. You feel what I'm saying? And then I ain't gonna cap, bro. I just like watching girls. Like I like girl on girl action. That shit just lit. And I don't know. And I'm just thinking about. <laughs> I'm being real right now, bro. Be honest. I'm being real. I love that girl on girl action. Like I hate. Well, when I used to watch porn and shit. Oh, that's some wild shit. But used to. Used to. Yeah, I stopped that shit. Bro, I don't watch no more. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wink. <laughs> bro, I'm for real, bro. I don't watch that shit no more. All right, go ahead. Finish, finish. I finish. swear. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but like, you know, nigga used to watch Piggy, bro. Piggy used to cut up on them girls. I'm like, man, that shit fire, bro. Like, I don't uh-huh. know. But two, like, two girlfriends, bro, like, that's, that's the way. Life, bro. Like, I don't know. I think two is better than one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, two girlfriends for me. Facts now. Uh, you said, why Why do you want to date outside the race? Because, bro. Is it tired of the... These girls keep hurting me, bro. They keep hurting my feelings, These dog. These black women? I, I be trying to... Yeah, so I'm the nicest nigga. Before we was talking... Y'all remember that conversation we had, bro? Right. And I feel like I'm too nice, bro. Like, and they be taking advantage of that shit. But I ain't no simp, bro, nigga. Like, fuck. I'm really... A, I ain't you a good say. guy? I'm a good guy, but at the end of the day, though, I don't... I don't girl, if, if... Girls, y'all know. If you dealing with me, you, you know how I am. Y'all know how I get. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't... I ain't taking bitches out to dinner and no shit like that. It's, it's regular shit with me until I find that one to go all out on. But other than that, bro, yeah, they keep the ones who are, they be hurting me, dog. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Heard I that, heard that. So, yeah. yeah so, you tired of getting hurt. So, you want to um try out a different, you tired of the um, same cake. You want to try a different cake. Yeah. All right. So, um, one more rapid question. Cheater or faithful? Me? Yeah, which which one you black men are more like you, bro? Which one I'm gonna be real with you? <laughs> in, a, in, in my last relationship, bro, I was faithful until you know, until I got cheated on first, right? And then that's when I do my dirt. But that get back shit, it ain't even cool. So like, honestly, like I don't know. So, bro, I'd rather be faithful, bro. Like, and honestly, I don't want be fucking multiple girls. Like that shit. But you want two girlfriends. Right, but I don't be fucking <laughs> randoms, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's bad, bro. Like, a lot of motherfuckers be on that, like, fucking this and that person. Like, I don't know, bro. I, dangerous game. Like, it's a dangerous game out here. So, but, you feel what I'm saying? Nah, I'm a, I'm a faithful nigga, bro. Because that karma is not, like, that's what I felt. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, back then, younger now, I used to cheat on a girl now and then. And then, you know, like, I don't even like seeing a girl cry, bro. Like, I don't want to say her name, but she know who she is. She was the first girl I ever made cry, bro. And that shit just made me feel Sick, so man. bad. I felt bad. You're so you so bad. You and yeah, I hope she forgive me one day. Um, you know who you Low are. Down. You know who you are. I'm gonna come back one day and come get you. I'm gonna take you out, you and your baby, just cause break you off with a little something and go separate ways. Like that's just the type of nigga I am. Cause I still think about it. Cause I was wrong. She was the one showed me the most love. So. That's I'm gonna always have a spot for her. You know that's good. That's good, man. You're a good guy. <laughs> fact, good fact. guys always lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, this good. One, this good one gonna win it. I'm telling you, this good one gonna win. Facts, <laughs> man. Outside of music, bro. What are some things you want your fans to know about you that you do on your personal time that a hidden talent maybe you have that they don't know about that you don't show? Mm. Can you cook? You can ball. You can. Nobody don't want to see me on the court. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> nobody don't want to see me on the court. I put money on that. Just let me get a little warm up. You know, COVID, they took the goals down, so I wasn't Fact. balling. But okay. Um, other than that, bro, I'm going to be real with you. I don't, you don't be doing too much. All I used to, all I do in my life is like, if I was in, like, go out, I'm at work. Or if I go out, barely, I'm in the studio or something, doing something creative. Like, other than that, I feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, mm-hmm. but what I like to do on my side is like, work out or some type of shit. Other than that, like, okay. I ain't in all that extra shit. Nah, you say um, when Sunset Drive, um, before we wrap it up a little bit, you say you worked at Cane's and mm-hmm. Family Dollar. What was your favorite out of those two? Shit, none of them, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I ain't going to cap. Bro, at, <laughs> at Cane's, bro, they was slaving me, dog. Like, box after box. Bro, I was making seven twenty five, and I was working like 40 hours a week. Yeah, like, that my shit was like two sixty when I was at uh, Pizza. I was making seven twenty five too. Ooh. That's, that's slavery, bro. Two weeks, two sixty. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cheese. We don't bro. miss them days <laughs> at all, boy. God, boy, bro. So you know, at Kane's niggas used to be slaving in that bitch, but we was young, so it was fun. Right. Then when I went to Family Dollar, I was like the manager, assistant manager in that bitch. But bro, I was uptown, and we had to fight, like not fight, but crackheads used to come in there and steal, bro. <laughs> I had to deal with rude ass customers and bro, y'all know me. I'm a nice ass nigga, right. so I hate when I gotta get out of character. Like, right. do not take me out of character, bro, because I really like I gotta click out. Like, bro, I don't know, but that's not the way. Why y'all always? Why y'all always had one line open? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna cap. If you had Family Dollar and this one line, bro, the manager somewhat just bullshitting on their phone, bro. I just, just <laughs> hey, when I was at Family Dollar, bro, I was writing. I put I put one girl on the cash register, another girl on the cash register. I'm in the back of the store. I'm writing. I'm listening. to 
And I'm not worrying about this shit. Worry about that, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about getting out this motherfucker. So I'm in the back. I'm writing. I'm hiding from customers. I'm writing, bro. I'm not. That was just my thing, bro. Always like, it's just I don't know the music. Like no matter what, that's why I can't give it up. No matter what, I just it's can't a, give it. Up. Like no, you ain't. This how I know I love the music, shit, bro. I can do this shit when I'm sad, happy, mad. You feel what I'm saying? Just anything, like any mood, I can do music. I can just put it in my music because I have a hard time expressing my feelings sometimes. I'm a very emotional person, but I keep my feelings to myself because I feel like a lot of motherfuckers don't care. So that's why I got to, well, once I get on in the music shit, once I chill down, I'm going to start going to a therapist to just talk about my issues. Like, that's another thing. A lot of y'all, we need to start doing that instead of going to social media and post it. I'm going to be real with you. A lot of motherfuckers do not care, bro, because when I was posting sad shit, bro, motherfuckers didn't care. But when I'm posting some some other shit, they some hype shit, like they all on my, you know, what? Sometimes nigga be wanting somebody to listen, bro. Like, I, like as men, we go through it like we gotta be tough. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's I don't know, bro. But it's just like, yeah, I don't at know. the end of the day, you're a human, bro. Men or women, women more emotional, but men they go through their own things, and most of their things they we go through is. Basically feeling like we not good enough or not doing the best we can at the moment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to get over that shit. A lot of people go to therapy for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's like, how much can you take? Like, how much can you get over before you break out, bro? I don't have a mental breakdown before at work. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I quit him and Dollar. Like, I had a real mental breakdown. I just couldn't do it. You feel what I'm saying? So... Damn, shit, nigga, my eyes getting water under this mask. Nigga. I, I seen that, just not through your mask. I thought I you seen see it. it? I thought I seen a teardrop <laughs> when I was looking through your mask, man, but... It that's, it. that's another reason, bro. Like, my face is like, when I be getting passionate about this shit, bro, I'm like, gonna drop tears, bro. Like, any mm. any advice on to artists like yourself who has a job and still has to do the music? Bro, use that nine to five as a stepping stone to invest in your career, bro. Like, fuck all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but don't just settle for any job, bro. Like, that's just paying you bullshit. Go to get a job that's paying you well enough to where uh, you can save and invest into your career, bro. Like, work that job, bro. And then once you keep putting in that work, bro, all that money going to come back tenfold. And I'm telling you, I'm going to be the proof. From now, I don't know how, whenever it take off, bro, whenever God's just like, it's your time, it's your time. Like, I feel like 2022 about to be my year. You know what I'm saying? So when they do happen, bro, I just want to show niggas, bro, like, you don't have to go rob, you don't have to go steal, you don't have to do all that other extra shit, but by any means, get it by any means. You feel what I'm saying? If you want to hustle, hustle. Do what you got to do. But, bro, you can work a job or two, bro, and just invest in yourself, bro. And then once you keep doing that, invest into your craft, bro, somebody's going to see that and believe in you, bro. And they're going to fuck with you. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So that's why I know, bro, like, one, like, Eric, somebody always tell me, bro, this, this is some real shit. I ain't going to go too long on this one. Niggas like, bro, your music is good. Keep doing what you're doing. All it's going to take is for one person. One person, that one right person gonna hit that motherfucker, bro. Then my life going for the better. You feel what I'm saying? And I just, you know, I'm waiting on that moment. But until then, bro, I'm just keep pushing and doing my thing. Cause like, my thing, I don't do this shit just cause I like, I really love it. Like, I'm not in it for the likes. I'm not in it for the gram or none of that. Like, I just do it cause I love it, bro. That's why, another reason I cut my face, bro. I just want y'all to listen to the music and watch my work, bro. Don't worry about who I am. Like, just listen and pay attention, bro. Like, just watch. Like, that's all. And also, like, don't give up on your dreams, even when you feel like nobody believes in you, bro. Like, you got to go hard 100%. I felt like everybody gave up on me, like, besides my mama. One call, that's all. You feel what I'm saying? But other than that, bro, it's like, you just got to keep going, bro. You got to believe in yourself. Bro. And then once everybody else see that shit, bro, that shit just going to take off for you. So don't give up. Believe in yourself. Just keep working. Practice. If you feel like no, like some, like me just writing, that's progress, bro. That's small steps towards the big goal. Like, like I said, bro, success won't happen overnight, but over time, that shit will. Like, facts, facts. Yeah. Now, one, one thing y'all gotta realize, yo, no matter the little thing huh? you are doing, no matter the little thing y'all doing, it's progress, bro. Like he said, writing just progress. You might feel like you're not doing nothing. Facts. Only one person gonna be able to see your vision, no matter who you tell it to. You only gonna be able to see the vision you have. So no matter how many people you tell it to, they not gonna understand it. Mm -mm. Only you can understand. It. Facts. And another, I just wanna add on to bro, cause bro preaching on that. Like bro, everybody not gonna get your vision until like, like I don't know, but everybody not gonna get life. your vision at first, bro. But if they don't get it, fuck them, cut them off. Know. They gonna see that motherfucker from the phone. But look, the motherfuckers who laughed at me, who not work with me no more, who didn't believe in me, and 
all the extra shit, bro, that they, they gonna be watching from their phone, like, damn, bro, this nigga Everything zealous. He, said. <laughs> he really doing this shit, bro. And I tr- and niggas can never see, bro. I ain't never try to ain't fuck try with to give niggas. A I ain't try to give niggas chances, bro. Like right now, I don't even charge for features, bro. Like I'm down to work with good art. Like, well, I can't say I'm down to work with every artist. There's some good niggas artists I, that. Yeah, if you good, I'm gonna work with you. If you not, I'm gonna tell you like just it's okay, you know, just shake back, brother. Keep working on it. Like I'm when it comes to criticism, bro, don't don't send me your song and ask me how I feel. I'm gonna tell you the truth, bro. Like when it comes to music shit, I get serious with it. If I like it, I'm not gonna say nothing else. Just say that bitch hard, bro. Keep it up. Mm-hmm. But other than that, bro, like I'm just in this shit because I love it, bro. Like I love it, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I love it. Hey, so wise man always say, man, if you're willing to do something for free, then you gotta love it, man. Thanks. Any any last comments for the people? Anything you want to touch on that we didn't touch on? Um, shit, what we didn't touch on? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, so I just want everybody to keep playing tsunami. That yep. motherfucker's gonna blow up and go big. Other than that, tune into all my other music too, bro. Like I got, I got a lot of good shit. You see what I'm saying? Like it's like shit you can relate to. Like ain't just no normal regular shit. Um, play you can play too many also, and um after this it's gonna be my city. Then after those songs, after I do the videos for those songs, I'm on to all my new stuff. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I got a whole I got a whole list of shit, bro. Like, why why are you looking at the list? I got one more question. Yeah. How do you feel? TikTok has become a part of promoting well, TikTok songs is- and music because some people just have TikTok hits. You never heard a song, but you just hear it on TikTok and it's blowing up. Right. But then it's like some shit like, it's another thing, bro. Like people get caught in the fame. Like like I said, when I got caught up in Sunset, mm-hmm. a lot of people get caught in the fame. Like once you get shit jumping, bro, you got to be on that shit. Like keep it going. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't know, bro, that TikTok shit is different because it'd be like motherfucker songs Really be just popping up on my phone. I'm like, oh, I like that. Let me go click it. Right. And you never know, like, one day that shit can happen for a nigga like me. So whenever it do, I don't know how it's going to play out, bro. Like, a bit can, shit can jump from Instagram, Twitter. Like, it started from Twitter and go to Instagram and go from TikTok. Whichever way, bro, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to put this work in. I'm focused, like, 100%. Like, I done sat down. I think I know what I truly want to do with my life. Like, I can honestly say I'm ready, bro. Mm-hmm. That's it. And everybody else just got to be ready, bro. That's what, it. Just believe in the nigga. What can we expect 2022? Um, Y'all going to expect a lot of motherfucking good motherfucking vibes, a lot of good music, a lot of great content. Um, I'm going to keep showing love Um, and just expect the best. Like, bro, I'm coming with that shit. And another thing is, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk my shit. If, you know what I mean? I'm going to say this, bro. I'm finna be the biggest artist in the world, bro. <laughs> The biggest artist in are y'all, y- y- y'all seeing this, bro? Global. Like, bigger than Michael, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm finna be on top of the charts, top of the billboards. I'm finna have the platinum plaques, the gold plaques, the diamond plaques, not just one diamond plaque. I'm finna have a couple of them, not just a song, probably the whole fucking album or a mixtape. Like, bro, it's no, you can't doubt me, bro. That's another thing. Like, I really got that confidence. And I'm not the, I, I wouldn't say like I'm the coldest nigga. Like, I'm not the, I'm not perfect. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this music shit, bro, I can go head to head with anybody. Drake, uh, fucking Kanye, motherfucking um, Jay Z. No, Jay Z, my dog. Jay Z, my dog. Wayne, Wayne. Stop playing Wayne. You ain't going hang out with Wayne, boy. <laughs> no, I can't go around right there. You ain't going that Wayne. I ain't got, got plans, Wayne. But y'all know whoever the top artist is, bro. We can go head to head. I don't give a fuck who you are, who you is. Brian bound down to nobody. I don't think no nigga is better than me. Honestly, like I am the best. I'm one of one. I'm the one. I'm a superstar, bro. Like you see that shit, you can hear that shit. I know you feel that shit. And right now, if you watching this motherfucker, just you, you just gonna see, bro. Like it's I talk a lot of good shit, but bro, I'm just gonna put the work in. That's it. Mama mentality, man. That's on, what I hear. Oh God, and I'm not giving up till I get what I want. Facts. Tay Vizzle's podcast, man. Zelly Lavelle. Ole, ole. Tsunami. We are out. <laughs> Go bump that. <laughs>